Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener, and today we're going to talk about how to spice up your shade structure with a pillar wrap. So this is a fun little thing that I came up with as a solution to a landscape problem. A client had a really nice shade structure that was in good shape except all the posts were rotting out right at the base because of water and termite damage. So what we did is we propped up the structure on posts and then replaced all of the sub posts and to give some instructional integrity to the structure. But she wasn't really happy with how the old post and the new post blended together. So what I did is I came up with this idea to wrap the posts with CMU block and then cover it with tile or stucco. In the case of that first structure, we did a stucco wrap, uh, finish on the posts um, and then we did tile on top of it. Now some of these other ones, we've done various different kinds of coatings. We've done stone facades, we've done poured in place concrete tops, and those are really nice if you polish them so you really get that sparkle out of the concrete and the top. The stone facade comes in all different kinds of textures and colors, and I always like to kind of match it up with the colors that the client picks of the paver patio, or sometimes we pick tile um, to go with tile. So there's lots of different color combinations, but one of the best things about these pillar wraps is it creates this nice little extra belly bar type surface to put drinks on, to serve, you know, put food on. And it always is nice when you kind of mirror the existing um, barbecue. So here we did a brand new barbecue and we matched it with the pillar tops and we kind of color coordinated with the shade structure. And again, this is one with a poured concrete top finish, nice and polished that concrete to give it some sparkle and shine. So that's a way to spice up your shade structure is to wrap it with a pillar wrap. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying we'll see you next time.